Set You Down Under TV with me, Carly Bartle, your independent Scentsy Consultant. I'm here to talk to you this morning about owning your morning, seizing your morning to make the most of your day. Now, if you don't know what I mean by that, are you ever running around like a headless chicken, scrolling through Facebook, writing to-do lists and not getting stuff done? Well, that was me. I've been in direct sales for three years now and I've read a lot of personal development books. And I would say the biggest thing that I've taken from all of those is how owning your morning helps you create the best day possible. If you don't own your morning, your morning and your day end up owning you. So these are some top tips from me of what to do to own your morning and achieve what you want to do throughout the rest of your day. So after numerous personal development books where I re was reading that I had to do an hour's meditation, an hour's affirmation, um, an hour's worth of exercise, I was just thinking that is not possible. I have got a three year old little girl who loves to get up between 6 and 6.30 and it's just not going to be possible for me to do all that. I'd end up having to get up at 2 o'clock in the morning and I don't really fancy that. So I've adapted it to work for me um, as a mum working from home who's got to get her kids ready for school and all the normal battles of the morning that we have so i do get up early unfortunately but it's not too early and i actually embrace it now it's the best part of my day so every morning without fail at 5 30 my alarm goes off i don't reach over to my bedside and hit snooze i don't trawl through facebook or check emails or messages um, but what i do do is have to physically get up out of bed to turn my alarm off it's in my bathroom so i know that i have to get up out of bed to make my morning start so i'm up at 5 30 and straight away i do 30 minutes of exercise that looks different every single day depending on my daughter so some days as you can see now I'm living in the most beautiful place at the top of the road is the beach so I might go for a 30 minute walk along the beach if I've got time um, and I've got people at home to look after my little one and it's the best time of day I get all my great ideas when I'm walking along this beach um, and if not it's a YouTube video an exercise video for 30 minutes then I spend a little bit of time writing down what I want to achieve what is my priority that I want to get done that day um, a little bit about the goals that I want to achieve and what I'm hoping to get done. And they are the priority. They are the things that I get done first. And that's it. It's as simple as that. That little bit, that little bit of time, that one hour that's just dedicated to me in the morning makes all the difference. You see, I've realised the older that I get is that I need that time. I need to make sure my cup's full to be able to fill the cup of others. So I need to make sure that I'm okay to make sure that my family and my loved ones are okay. And that hour in the morning really does set me up for the rest of my day. And that's it, it's as simple as that. Own your day, own your morning. Don't let your day own you. If you've enjoyed this video, hit like, um, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I look forward to seeing you all soon.